What is that in the window? Egg. No, not the kitty. What's that outside? What is it? There's boards on the window. Gate outside, a big pumpkin. Aww, but he likes the nice kitty. Are we at low? <laughs> Are we at low? The hooks. The hooks. The hooks. The hooks. Are we on our way to see Daddy? Phoenix? Are you going to sleep? Mr. Duckmouth? Did you forget something? <laughs> You're in trouble. I did. I, I forgot. I forgot them. Sorry, guys. That's awful. I know. I got halfway to work. And I'm like, I felt naked. It's like, where's my camera? Ooh, Diet Coke. I who, thought, am I, who am I sharing it with? I thought you might want to ha share it with Jesse. <laughs> and I'm having one with Adam of Adam's Haunted Manor. <laughs> So you're Hold having on. one with Jesse. I'm having one with Adam. We, they should have one. You know how they have the the BFF, best <laughs> friends forever. Mm -hmm. They should have one like FFF or HFF. Haunter. Ha Haunter friends forever, and I'd be like, Hey guys, cheers. <laughs> they should have a site where you can custom design your own. Oh yeah. Wait. Sure when, oh. Wait, Phoenix. I'm, I'm just about ready to take lunch. So let me go clock out real quick. Perfect oh. timing. What the hell? Oh, hello. Focus, wow. focus. Hi guys, I'm home. And this guy has not seen that fence yet. So let me go outside real quick. And he wants to see it, can you tell? So I'm gonna go outside. And we're gonna record his reaction seeing the fence. Ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Screw the fence, what's this big jack-o'-lantern there? And these plants. Look, Mommy, they're dead now. Yeah. All kind of fits in, then. I know. Well, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Don't trim them no. or anything. Just leave them there. They're dead. What? <laughs> 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 oh, where's my phone? I'm going to take a picture of her. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what he's doing. Anyway guys, this is what it looks like during the daytime. Um, I've decided to take these right here and go this way. And then if you remember from like two years ago, I made like other fencing for the cattle gates. For I used to call them the cattle gates for out front. Um, I'm going to use those between here and the corner of the sidewalk over there. So they're gonna be like looped here. It's that rusty chain stuff. So that'll keep people away from there. Nice big path here for them to go through. So the path isn't gonna be like narrow. So if it does rain or when it does rain, uh, it won't get beaten down in a certain area. It'll be more, it'll be broader. Um, I said broad. Ah, I know, right? I said broad on the vlogs, that's funny. Oh, now he's got the bubbles. Uh oh. Uh oh. All you need to do, Phoenix, is go, oh, can you moan? <laughs> For some reason, it won't. Oh, watch this. Watch, watch. Here you go, guys. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Are you helping Daddy? Oh, you want to play a cruel joke? <laughs> Don't step on it. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Daddy. Daddy, get off. I'm being a ghost. 
or a demon or something. I know yesterday I said that I had to go to storage. I said that in the vlog and then I had to mow the yard. So that kind of like took away the going to storage because I've only got certain times that I can go to storage now. Um, so today I'm going to storage and dun, 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 here we go. Got to get some stuff. And I'm really toying with the idea this year of uh, bringing back the uh, uh, sponsored in part by sign because the sign itself is really freaking awesome. Um, but we don't have any sponsors and that would just like say commercial all over it and I don't want it to say commercial anymore I mean I had different thoughts when I first started doing this and then I found out that yeah you know we're not commercial and we should not appear to be commercial because that would just be bad this this is a sign that I'm talking about thinking about just getting rid of and painting over the sponsored in part by so that you'll just have like the spider web up at the top the bat another spider web over there the spider web right here the tombstones which are really cool and then I'll just take and put uh, the, the Hellmouth, ha uh, Halloween Hellmouth uh, symbol thing right there. And then dates and times and Northwest Harvest and stuff like that. If it wasn't hard enough to manage just this big board, somewhere in the process I hit the cancel button so it stopped recording. Anyway, I got it out, obviously, and only a couple things fell. I don't know what fell. In case I don't show you guys or remember to show you, uh, basically the way that I did this, these are two Bucky arms that I went and basically I just screwed them in to the wood, drilled the hole where this metal piece is and I bent this metal piece so that I could support the, uh, the hands and keep them in the same position. I just ran the wire up along it. See the wires going into the light right there. Hot glued everything together. Uh, hot glued the light all around it to seal it from the elements. And then right here, this is a photo sensor so that these flashlights will come on at night. Uh, there's like a, uh, a wall wart, like a power supply in here in this box. This is a project box from Radio Shack. And I just hot glued all around everything to keep the water out. And uh, you've got, you know, power in and 12 volts out and 12 volts runs the lights. Very simple, it can stay plugged in all the time. Won't take any uh, power drain during the day. Uh, they come on at dusk and go off at dawn. I have a question to ask you guys. If you have a yard display, home haunt, whatever you have, do you have any kind of gimmick or anything to grab people's attention as they're driving by besides just your display? And the reason why I ask that is because for several years, I used to use um, these orange lights. Right here, I used to use orange lights put up around the perimeter of the fence for the yard, which isn't really too Halloween-y for a graveyard, but it also it, it makes your house down, stand out more. Um, I'm not using those lights. I'm actually going to use these purple ones this year around the fence, so hopefully it'll still stand out a little bit. And then you guys also remember that two years ago when it was up, I used the big haunt tree and I put a spotlight on top of the roof to make the tree light up. And then, you know, you could see that from all around. So post it in the comments if you guys have any, like, uh, gimmicks for people to like say oh my gosh what's up there and then continue to your house like what a treat a treat really oh it feels so bad here have a wire tie <laughs> like daddy you tricked me you tricked me i'm sorry the first time i did tombstones they were the store-bought like flimsy ass things that if it like had more than a two mile an hour gust of wind they were like in the neighbor's yard <laughs> so I had to figure out something, and this is not an original idea. I got this idea from Scary Lady videos, um, but it works, and it's magnificent, so I'm going to share it with you guys, too. So we've got one piece of tombstone over here. You can see the line because I did a great job of making it, like, seamless. But over here, you've got a store-bought tombstone, and I went and repainted it. And everything um, use dry lock on it on both sides and of course you got the uh, the raven up above ooh complete with a spider you guys see that spider on the beak throughout the whole tombstone I've got PVC going up the center on two parts of it or on two sides and then I've got a piece of plywood for the base what this does is it 
allows you to put rebar into the ground so you're making sure that the tombstone doesn't blow away. You're also giving it a little bit of weight with the, the piece of plywood down here on the bottom and you're helping to seal the tombstone also. I take my two pieces of rebar, stick it into the tombstone, put it into the ground where I want it to go. I will push these into the ground a little bit. There's one. There's two. All right, I'll take the tombstone back off of it. And then I will go and pull, push these into the ground more. Be very, very careful you don't impale yourself. God damn it. Ow. I seriously just did that. Oh, crap. I hit my knuckle. Did you guys hear that? Oh my gosh. That's going to leave a mark. Okay, so anyway, I'm over it. Uh, so what you do now is take your tombstone, you line those holes up with those right there, and you just let it sink down. All right, just like that. If it's tight, I will even leave it up above the grass just a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. If it falls down, it's not a big deal. But with a little bit of space there, it's not going to kill your grass. And as the grass grows, it'll cover up the gap underneath it. So as you can see, we're getting the graveyard set up for spooking people. So here are all the tombstones. This is for uh, Pumpkin Ed. And that's the store-bought side. Here's the store-bought side of this one. And pardon me for not rising. Obelisk. This is one of my favorite and my very first tombstones. Uh, it didn't look like this. I, I went and highlighted the letters in white. I filled it in with paint because this is what it used to look like. And you can barely read it, especially at nighttime. So I went and I redid that one. But we've got this one R.I.P. with some of my moss on it. You guys can go to the moss tutorial to uh, figure out how to do that. This one was given to us by an awesome subscriber. This one here, Travis did years ago. Uh, May the capitalist machine never forget its greatest adversary. Here lies humanity. <laughs> and let's see, you got a little bit of moss work going on in that. Uh, oh, there's nothing on the other side of this, right? Yeah, it's blank. Uh, let's see, so store-bought. Hugh Hefner, like I said, I got a change. No longer rising to the occasion. You guys get that, right? <laughs> Another obelisk. I think that's how you pronounce that. 1408, the room sealed his fate. That's a new addition last year. And nothing on that side of it. Curtain rod, he hung himself. Store-bought on that side. Uh, this one here was also new last year. Willie Nelson laid to rest just below this bit of grass. Get it? And then store-bought tombstone here with Emily White. This is the uh, rose that I dry locked, which uh, got a little dinged up, so it needs a little touch-up on it. And then the cross right here. So, all right, guys. All the tombstones are up. I'll probably do lighting tomorrow. And then we're going to have to uh, get to the back haunt because... <laughs> uh, it, we're behind. We're very behind right now. There's a graveyard out there. There is. There's a graveyard in our front yard. Spooky! Ah! It's time for cock! MS Michael 99, are you still going to use the weed eater in the haunt this year? If you are, which room? Squirrel. Squirrel. Yes, we're going to use it somewhere in the haunt. There are some people to watch that are um, local, so I don't want to give it away. Zachary Cheatham. Adrenaline, that was the word you were looking yep, for that was yesterday. The word I was right, starter B. I would come to the haunt, but I'm in Boston. You lucky son of a bitch. I miss home so much. Do you go eat at the House of Blues? 
Because if you do order that uh, the plate with the uh, half rack of baby back ribs and the the uh, rotisserie chicken, oh my god, I miss Harvard Square. The Clown and Bros. For the contest, is it the four top fans in between the 30th and the 10th, or from since you started vlogging? Um, it's going to be the top four fans as determined by YouTube on the 10th when I check it. And that's like, it's a running total. So I'm not going to give any updates as to who's ahead or whatever. It's just all you guys got to do is watch videos, thumbs them up, comment on them. Blank comments don't count, so... Uh, oh, and uh, share it. That all counts. And in case you guys wonder what we're talking about, um, the Halloween cards, I'm going to send one to four lucky subscribers, our top fans. Jason Christopher 77 have you ran through the haunt naked yet? Or did fun stuff with Lori Lee in it? <laughs> That's funny. I was just saying that in that room that you can do the plastic mage. I looked around and said, you know... We haven't done it in the haunt yet. <laughs> <laughs> wow, way TMI. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's funny. <laughs> Ty Dilling, I can't wait to see the final product of the haunt. What's your favorite TV show Halloween related? Um, right now, The Walking Dead. Ooh, and oh. American Horror Story. Too. Yeah, Walking Dead, American. Oh my Horror gosh, Story. the season with with Naomi Grossman, Pepper. It looks so freaking good this year. Oh my gosh. And I just got done watching. Well, this weekend is the final. Um, the finale of Witches of East End season two. That's, I love, I like that show. Oh, I I'm, I'm gonna make a comment really quick. Andrea Andrea Rose Grills, um, that you're working at Thrillvania. I gave you tips yesterday for scaring so that you don't like aren't yelling in people's ears all the time. Um, I'm not sure if you heard. Yeah, you yeah, heard it. Okay. You walk up to people and say boo. Well, yeah, you basically like. What are you doing? You like right up to them. The night but, I met you, that's what you did to me, and it scared me. I know, it, it was great. But the other thing, too, is being fat. She just looked at me. I'm just going to keep on talking. You can, you can, like, come out of nowhere and yell at somebody. You can sit there and, and shadow them and be, like, like, right up next to them. Or you can do... Lick their face. Or you can come out of nowhere and be, like, and they'll, then they'll be, like, oh, my God, what the hell was that? And then if they're not looking, not paying attention again, be, like, when Just I like really quick, really quick, right behind him. Christian Plonsky, would you recommend using wood pallets for walls? Absolutely. Wood pallets are the probably the easiest, most versatile, and cheapest way to make a wall in a haunt. Jordan Winton, how did you make your computer touchscreen? Um, it's a touchscreen computer. <laughs> he bought it that way. That's the way it comes. <laughs> Underworld Haunted House, do you like to use fog chillers for your front yard? I don't use fog chillers because in this area, this time of year, they usually don't work. Fog chillers work on the principle of lowering the temperature of the fog because hot air rises, cold air falls. Well, it's already like 40 degrees outside, 40, 50 degrees outside, and so fog, which is actually hot, that's why they say not to touch the surface you know, around the fog machine, um, cold chilled fog comes out at about 60 degrees so honestly around here it looks like just another fog machine so no i don't do that rob thumb 11 did you have to buy all of the plywood you use in your haunt or was it donated none of the panels were donated however we did have a lot of donations come in that were that 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 was distributed through panels does that make sense did I yes. say that okay? Using it towards it. Right, right. So, yes, we, we had uh, primarily one awesome, awesome person um, help us out. About two thirds of the panels were purchased by us, though. Daniel Kanan, I love Laura Lee's Daryl shirt. Thank you. Also, are you still planning on having the carport separated by panels for a makeup and staging area? Yes, absolutely. Jordan Winton, also, I did watch Halloween Craziest. Love it. You saw Halloween Craziest because they had Halloween Crazy, Halloween Crazier, and Halloween Craziest. And I only saw the Crazy and Crazier. I haven't seen Craziest. The craziest is supposed to be the one with... Um, with with McKamey Manor. Yeah. And I haven't seen that one. They haven't put it on yet. Sea North, can you still recommend the Boo Box after using it over the past few years? Is the Scare Master a must to program the Boo, Mo Boo Box? The Scare Master is... 
mandatory to program the old boo box. I had the boo box 8, which I don't believe that they make anymore. They make a new boo box to where you can either have the uh, the scare master or they offer a program now that you can program it on your computer and I'm pretty sure that program is free. Would I still recommend it? Yeah, it was a great tool. It's just it stopped working. I'm not sure if it was my fault or a glitch in the software or whatever. So, you know, what whatever, it stopped working and I just didn't use it. But it's 11:14 now. Yeah, oh jeez, I got to edit. All right guys, happy hunting. See you tomorrow. Happy hunting. Hell. See you tomorrow.